uh, from the damage to my heart muscle from that episode of the cardiac arrest, I started to get uh, congestive heart failure, which uh, I was fatigued, uh, got shortness of breath, digestive problems, and it really affected my quality of life. And Dr. Garnett, uh, who's been my doctor for a couple of years, then uh, decided I should start seeing the heart failure clinic at Holy Cross. So currently at Holy Cross, uh, we enroll uh, patients who are eligible for these heart failure studies into clinical trials. We have 10 clinical heart failure trials up and running. This one particular investigative trial looks uh, at the use of a device called a Barra stimulation device. It uh, utilizes the concept that um, circulation to the heart is not just impaired by the heart muscle itself, but by neurohormones, which uh, become overly activated. This therapy in and of itself actually creates a signaling process between the brain and the heart to allow for better circulation by stimulating a baroreceptor, which is a pressure receptor that sits on the carotid, uh, which helps to simply help the heart relax and circulate better. Uh, the device is a uh, stimulator of the nerves that live on the carotid artery that are part of the feedback system our body has to control blood pressure and heart rate. And by stimulating these nerves, uh, we can modify the heart rate and the blood pressure uh, to reduce the workload of the heart and hopefully keep people uh, in less uh, symptomatic phase of their heart failure. Uh, the surgery involves a small incision in the neck uh, where we play, uh, map uh, the site on the carotid artery that has the most activity and then we suture a very small electrode there and then uh, tunnel the wire over the collarbone and place the uh, generator in a pocket under the skin uh, exactly like we would place a pacemaker or defibrillator uh, in the pocket under the skin. The first week I had it in, it's set at very low power, and I really could see the difference. Then after that week passed, uh, I could see I was going back to the shortness of breath. And today, they just turned the power up on it. And they do that gradually so you don't have any ill effects or weird tingling or that in your neck. So I'll be coming in uh, every two weeks and they'll scan it and adjust the power. And it'll take about two to three months to get it all the way up to full power. And the whole purpose they explained to me was quality of life, how I feel. And it's not if the device is working or not working, I'm not really going to feel anything other than I'm going to feel better. But we're also helping them try to live longer. Our mission are to try to help people with these chronic diseases, such as heart failure, stay out of the hospital and have better quality of life. Um, our mission is to try to get patients on better therapy because we know that often patients are not um, um, we often we know that patients are not placed on optimal medical therapy uh, but also we know that uh, you know there are enormous scientific opportunities to advance uh, the profession through better care and through clinical trials and we are a unique site in that we uh, are able to offer a number of different heart failure trials to eligible patients to move the needle beyond uh, traditional medical therapy and hopefully um, help that individual do better in the in the long run. <laughs>